Hi, I'm Mike Simons, director of the National Electronics Museum. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most iconic pieces of electrical equipment designed in the last 120 years. We're talking about the Shure 55 Unidyne microphone, otherwise known as the Elvis mic. A microphone is a transducer, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. Early mics used either a carbon or a crystal condenser element, leaving them prone to pick up unwanted noise or they were fragile and expensive. Before the 55, microphones were either omnidirectional or bidirectional, meaning they picked up sound from everywhere or just from the front and back. This led to feedback and distortion issues. Engineers understood the gold standard was a heart-shaped pattern of a pickup called the carotid. Sound would only enter the front of the microphone, not the back. Attempts were made to combine omni and bidirectional mics to achieve this pattern but engineering and expense challenges were difficult to overcome. That was until Shure engineer Benjamin Baumsweger designed a loudspeaker in reverse. What Baumsweger did with the 55 is he had two important innovations. Number one, instead of using a paper cone or a piece of crystal, Baumsweger suspended an aluminum plate inside of the microphone that was held like a trapeze on that aluminum plate was a copper coil, and that copper coil was inside a permanent magnet. So when someone spoke into the microphone, it caused that diaphragm to vibrate. It moved that copper coil up through that permanent magnet, and it induced a current. And that's how it recorded the voice. Now, the other thing that he did, and probably the most important thing, is that even though this looks like a beautiful face, there's more to it than just that. These slots cut into the microphone are very important. As a person spoke through here, their voice then would surround the microphone and also come in the back. But what Baumschweiger did is he designed these slots in the back with an acoustic material so that any sound that came in from the back of the microphone was slowed down. The sound waves were slowed down and put out of phase to the sound coming through the front. That created, that. that what that did is that uh, eliminated the sound coming in the back, so you only heard the sound coming in the front. So he created the first directional microphone that only had one element in it, as opposed to the old, earlier ones, which had multiple elements. That was the amazing thing about the 55. The Shure 55 could be seen alongside political figures such as Douglas MacArthur, Harry Truman, Ava Perone, Fidel Castro, and singers such as Buddy Holiday. Hank Williams, Ella Fitzgerald, and of course, Elvis. Modern users, just a quick scan of YouTube, Taylor Swift is seen using a Shure 55. And if you look closely, the Shure 55 appears in the faceplate of the medical droid in the Star Wars films. So how does the 55 sound? I don't know, let's try it out. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you ain't caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Brrr, boop.